Germiston. Good afternoon, Isaac. Hi, thanks for taking my call. I just want to ask Dr. Carter, with regard, you know, we're talking about the shortage of doctors, but uh, with regard to the uh, introduction of the clinical associates, um, I mean, uh, according to my understanding is that the first group have qualified uh, in 2011, and they've been practicing, and since today, there's no, you know, there's no clear scope of practice. And this concept of clinical associate was first um, thought about, I think, around 2002. So we're talking about more than 10 years, and we still don't have a, a, a scope of practice. Mm. I've tried to call Dr. Carter's office if you, you know, you hardly go through. So I want to know, you know, you know what is happening right now with with regard to the scope of practice and when can it be finalized because you can't have people working for mm-hmm. five years and they still don't have the scope of practice and, and these people are doing the h1 work they are dealing with patients dr carter okay so that's not a matter that's uh, linked to the question of hours of work but i can respond to that yes. essentially the development of scope of practice is a function of the our professions council of south africa mm-hmm. The scope of practice for clinical associates has, in fact, been concluded and submitted to uh, the National Department of Health by the Health Professions Council. It's currently currently with our legal services. It will be concluded within the next week or two and submitted to Minister for Signature and then for publishing. So I'm expecting the scope of practice for clinical associates to be gazetted uh, within the next month or two. Uh, And any causes for the delay? The cause for the delay is the clinical, the, the scope of practice for clinical associates, or let me put it differently. Clinical associates are a new category of, of, of health professionals. Mm. Uh, it's a category that's never existed before. And the scope of practice in the way that it was designed impacted on a number of different other health professionals. So, for, so as an example, it impacted on the scope of practice of doctors. It impacted on the scope of practice of emergency medical practitioners. It impacted on the scope of practice of nurses. So there was a, a range of, of health, other health professionals who belonged to other professional bodies that had to make an input. And uh, the uh, inputs from these various stakeholders went to and fro over the last mm-hmm. number of uh, months. Uh, and it's been uh, uh, quite quite a while for the scope of practice to be eventually finalized and has now been finalized and submitted for approval and should be published and gazetted within the next two months. Right. Thank you for that.